have a lot of work to do today. I have two videos to edit. I need to finish up Mia Whaley's collab video that will go up tomorrow. And then I need to finish up my vlog that will go up this Thursday. So today I'm uploading twice this week, which is very, very good of me. <laughs> I received this package today and I've never been more excited to receive a package. This is by Jenny Kwan Designs and she makes really pretty dainty fine jewelry. I actually have the rings on, but I want to show you out in natural light because it's so pretty. All right, so here are the three pieces she sent me and I was so shocked because I wasn't expecting her to send me all three. She was so generous, so thank you so much, Jenny. These are definitely my favorite pieces right now. Like I have nothing like this. As you can see, it's so unique and beautiful. Um, she does make fine jewelry, so there are some real diamonds in here, as well as some really pretty stones. So you can wear these three pieces separately or you can stack them like I'm doing right now. And huh, it's beautiful. I will link Jenny's website down below. You guys should check her out. She literally creates the most unique, elegant, dainty pieces she has more than just rings she has necklaces uh, earrings bracelets and they're all so beautiful so thank you so much Jenny I'm so excited to wear this all the time it is bright and early it's 10 30 and I'm all the way on the west side I'm here at the YouTube space I have a little tutorial slash meeting thing to go to with Andy I can't really talk about it right now um, but I'm super excited I haven't been in the YouTube space in a hot minute so it'll be nice to just kind of refresh my memory and check everything out I am pretty tired I did not have my coffee yet <laughs> um, and I just uploaded uh, me and Whaley's collab video so if you guys haven't seen that then and it just passed by if you guys haven't seen that I'll put a little card here or here so make sure you check that out because it was so much fun to make um but yeah andy is here now so we're gonna head in back at home the meeting went super well i wasn't able to film because like i said it was very secretive um but it is a very reputable brand a hair brand and um i love them so much and they're coming out with a new product and i got to learn all about it today and i'm so excited to show you guys what it is because it's honestly super tight like i was so impressed it's like such an innovative product and there's nothing out in the market like that. So that went super well. And then after that, I went to Valencia to get my extensions pulled up. Um, I think it's time to take them out soon. It's been a minute. Like I really take care of my extensions uh, to the point where I can have them on for like almost a year. But my extensions are like this short because when I first chopped my hair really short, I had my extensions in and I chopped it, but I didn't want to continue to go that short. So I just told her to keep it in and we'll just let my real hair grow. And even though it's like uneven, it blends really well and you can't see it, you know? Oh, that's my food. I just warmed up um, some pasta. But yeah, finally back at home, eating my first meal of the day. I was totally rushing this morning. I like even kind of flipped out on Robin because um, her car was behind mine and we were both rushing, but I ended up apologizing um, later. Do you guys ever do that? Like it's rare that I kind of lash out, but when I have a moment and you know, I have time to like think about what I did and maybe if I wasn't being rational, I'll, I'll go back and apologize. So I sent my sister a message and I said I was sorry because um, at that point I wasn't even acting like myself. I was just like flustered and kind of reacted. But I guess the moral of this story is sometimes we say things that we don't mean, especially when there's a lot of things going on. Um, but when that happens, it's okay to just, you know, admit that like you messed up and you didn't mean to act like that. I think apologizing when you're wrong is like so big of someone to like um, realize that and know that it's okay. Like everyone messes up, but when you own up to it, it's like it it means a lot to the other person you know and to yourself anyways i don't know how we started like talking about life lessons here <laughs> um but yeah i'm going to have some lunch 
and then ah hot ah really hot i'm gonna go through the comments of um from me and waylee's the collab very happy about it a lot of you guys really loved it and i love watching both videos and just um opening up to you guys more and um answering some different questions it was really fun i'm excited for her to get get back from the bay i mean damn she like leaves me for what two days and i'm like where are you i miss you it just feels so long <laughs> I made another HelloFresh meal. This one is the garden quesadilla. It smells really good. It was just extra chipotle. And I also made some pico de gallo and a nice salad. I'm very excited for this. to make my morning smoothie and just some extra breakfast stuff because we're out of like eggs and bread and stuff like that so we are gonna go to sprouts To make me a smoothie. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So I'm making enough for me and Silas. So you want to throw some strawberries in there. You can use fresh ones, but I like to have my smoothie cold. So I'm using frozen. Throw in some blueberries. I'm just using whatever I had left over. And I use the Sambazon Acai. Just cut off the top. Squeeze that out. Cool. I like to take a banana. I don't like to use the whole thing because sometimes it gives it this really like, it gives it a nice texture, but if I find when it's like a whole one, it's too much of that thickiness. I put the rest in the fridge and you can just use it later <laughs> or eat it. <laughs> Honestly, you guys have to try this smoothie. It's delicious, seriously. So I take some hemp seeds, which is like a plant-based protein. It's a superfood. I like to take a tablespoon of that. Really good stuff, very healthy for you. And I don't eat 
too much meat, so it's good to get some sort of protein in um, before I do this. I will take some maca powder. I'm gonna just do like three teaspoons. But this fruit fly does not go somewhere. Get away from my honey. <laughs> Have some goji berries here. I'm gonna do, I just eyeball everything to be honest. I'm gonna do like a tablespoon of goji berries. Very healthy for you. And then I do a little bit, maybe like two teaspoons of cacao nibs. Adds a nice chocolatey flavor. I know I'm adding a lot, but honestly, it's such a healthy, delicious morning smoothie. It's amazing. Truly, it really is. Oh, this is my actual hemp seed. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some coconut oil. Just do like half a spoonful. Throw that in there. Kind of wipe it off. And then, almost done, you guys. <laughs> I take some peanut butter. You can use almond butter as well. I go back and forth. They're both delicious. This brand is amazing. And I just do this amount, not too much. But man, using peanut butter or almond butter just makes the smoothie so nutty and delicious. Okay. Taking some raw unfiltered honey. A little light drizzle, nothing crazy. One, two, three, stop there. Lastly, a milk of your choice. I'm using non-dairy milk. This is hemp milk and it's amazing. Really good with the smoothie. I also use almond milk. Uh, I've used oat milk, but hemp and almond milk are my fave for smoothies. And this I could just kind of eyeball. I want to do enough for Silas and I, and I don't want it super thick, but, you know, just about right. Just do it there. I've, like, perfected this recipe, and I'm just, I have it every single morning. It's amazing. All right, and the blender I'm using is my Vitamix, because there's just nothing better. It's a little bit thick and I don't like to drink like super thick smoothies so I'm just gonna add a little bit more hot milk whoa this is not all the way there we go just gonna pour it through the top just a little splash Silas always likes less, which I'm fine with. <laughs> okay. Taste test. Wow. So this was inspired by a smoothie at Sun Life which there's one in Pasadena. I'm not sure where else they have a Sun Life, but it's an amazing smoothie cafe. Um, they have like raw juices, really fresh smoothies. 
normally when my sister and I would go to yoga, we would stop by Sun Life and they have a smoothie called Fountain of Youth and it pretty much has all of these ingredients but I switched it up like they use apple juice and coconut water but I like to use hemp milk even when I go order there I make my um, adjustments uh, on how I want the smoothie but I've added like maca powder, um, hemp seeds, uh, uh, cacao nibs like they don't add that kind of stuff and it just tastes amazing like I really prefer my version and when you buy a smoothie there like for a cup like this it's like ten dollars so um, all the ingredients are quite expensive but they'll last you a long time especially if you make it at home Yes. What should we make it tonight? Um, Korean stew. Okay. <laughs> this girl texts me a photo. Oh yeah, this one. Full on made like tundubu, but it kind of looks like tingjang jjigae. It is tingjang jjigae. Oh, tundubu was this morning. So we have. Oh. You just gonna make tundubu and tingjang jjigae? Yeah. And you put like anchovies in it, so it has like that depth of flavor. Excuse me. I am just so impressed with this. Like, what did I do to my Chinese friends? I've converted them. <laughs> we got banchan. Okay. 잘 먹겠습니다. 좋습니다. At the gas station right now. And look what I have here. Because we bought a pack of Korean Concord grapes. So excited. Thank you so much, Dad. And man is getting me Chester hot fries and gummy bears. We had to put air in my tire because uh, the tire pressure was really low. And then we were about to head home and I was like, wait, I should get hot fries. And he was like, giving me the side eye because it's not the best for me, but it's the weekend. So I'm just like, I'd love some hot fries. Some M and M's and a movie. Mm-hmm. Yay! Kit Kat. Thank you. Um, this is M and M's, not Kit Kat. What was it for me? <laughs> oh, you want M and M's? No, it's okay. Okay, I got change. No, it's okay. Currently making some candles. At home, I am making my own soy candles. It's my first time, I thought I'd give it a try. I'm gonna start off with my wicks. Here's how they look so far. Now I'm gonna add these labels on the candles so I know which scent is which. It is 11.20 in the evening, it's very late. Well, not very late, but it's late for me. Um, I just got done with all my candles. I literally started maybe around seven, and it's because I had one pitcher to melt the wax, and when I fill the pitcher up, I can only do three candles at a time, and I ended up making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's say 14 total because I have like two small ones that are kind of like halfway full. Wow, that's a lot of candles, but I just saved so much money. Um, all I used was soy wax and pure essential oils. So it's a natural candle, very happy about it. I wanna show you guys what I made because it was really exciting. It was a lot of fun, um, but I'm just so tired at this point and my feet hurt because I've been standing. <laughs> but I need 
lavender rosemary so this one is probably my favorite just because i was able to top it off with some actual dry lavender and make it look very pretty it is quite of a lot of essential oils that have to go into the candle to act uh, to have it very fragrant when you burn it um, but i spent way less making like 14 candles than i would buying them and plus they're natural so this is the final product it smells so good and then i have earthy citrus which includes um orange lavender and cedarwood so thought earthy citrus was a good name <laughs> mm. this makes me so happy i worked so hard on these so it's like different when i burn them mm -hmm. Um, and then we have a grapefruit mint and what's in here is grapefruit essential oil peppermint and eucalyptus oil mm. And then I did rose which is just rose essential oil which rose oil is by far the most expensive I don't know why I mean it smells amazing but yeah rose essential oil is way more expensive than all the other ones that I bought there's this little ceramic container that I have I used to put succulents in it um, but I decided to do the lavender one in here and it's like this small so it's super cute this one's really really pretty so yeah that is all of the candles that i made i know this is really random um i would make a video on it but there's so many diy candle videos already online but if you guys are really interested um on how i do it then just let me know and maybe i'll do a video for you guys because i had a lot of fun making it but anyways um i just want to go ahead and close out this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys very soon love you Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, bro.